Welcome back guys, we're in beautiful Miami, Florida in the Grove, Coconut Grove to be specific. And in today's video, I'm gonna let you guys know three problems I've noticed being a watch enthusiast here in Miami. I want you guys to get involved and comment down below whether you agree or disagree with my three points. And if there's any other points you guys wanna add to the list, comment it down below. Now, let's get into the three points. So for point number one, I've noticed that there aren't too many watch enthusiasts here in Miami. Sure, there's watch collectors. There's a lot of people that can afford to buy these timepieces. But as far as enthusiasts, which are people who have knowledge and the willingness to learn about a variety of different timepieces, I find it to be very rare here in Miami. Comment down below and let me know if you agree or disagree. Now for point number two. If you're someone that loves attention and wants your timepiece to garner a lot of attention, guys, Miami is not for you. Because the attention you're going to get, the positive or good attention, are going to be from watch nerds like me, which were very few. Now, the other people that you're going to get a lot of attention from are women who are just pretty much trying to see if you can afford to pay their bills. The next person would be a crackhead who is trying to rob you. And I think lastly, it would be like a doorman at a club or a restaurant who is just assessing to see whether or not they can rob you at a table for the price of a table, the cost of a table and the cost of bottles. So it seems like the bad pretty much outweighs the good when it comes to the attention that you'll get here in Miami with your luxury timepieces. Now for my third and last point, and I must say, guys, people here in Miami are different. And I say that in the sweetest, nicest way possible. Most people in Miami are desensitized. They're desensitized to flashy things. That's why whenever somebody visits Miami, they get the perception and the idea that Miami people are obnoxious, gaudy, and crazy. No shade, friend. I know you're from Florida, and I'm every not. time there's you, absolutely are Florida. I'm are from friend. Miami, though. Right, Miami, Florida. No, so Miami, I know Dade that. Miami Dade County. R right, Miami Dade County, United States of America. Exactly. Right, Florida. No. Florida is a state. Yeah, it is. Miami is in the state of Florida. Miami is in a state of its own thing. Okay. That is not Florida. Right. Yeah. So sure. don't ever disrespect me again. Uh no. <laughs> Truly. Miami people are unique. There's a special set of people here in Miami. It's truly hard to stand out, especially if you're trying to be flashy. Now, you could wear a solid gold Rolex AP, a bright Richard Mill, a pink, yellow, red Richard Mill, and still not get attention. You could have your RM and be in a yellow Lamborghini. You won't get the attention that you think because most people here are desensitized. Everyone and their grandma have Rolexes, APs, all the hype watches you could think of. He ain't lying. So, if you're thinking about coming here to Miami to be flashy and to get attention, it might be the wrong place to do it. Everyone here, for the most part, is desensitized and won't really give you that much attention. And to be honest, guys, most people anywhere you go are becoming desensitized to luxury and to certain things because of social media. Now people see every day on an everyday basis, they're just scrolling, just seeing all types of different things, uh, extravagance, and their eyes are just normalized to this type of stuff. So it's not just in Miami. The only thing is in Miami, we see it here in real life. And for people in, let's say, small villages and towns in different states, you know, they see it on their phones. And then eventually when they see it in real life, it's a lesser effect than if they never saw it at all. You know, we're, we're in 2024, you know, back maybe in the 50s or 60s, the only luxury things you saw might have been what's in your village. Whoever the richest person is in your town and village, that person might be able to just afford a Seiko. That might have been the high-end luxury in your town. And the average basic watch might have been like a Timex or something like that. But today, everyone's oversaturated and exposed to everything now. So it's very hard to impress people this, these days. And I really think social media is to blame for it. Social media is a gift and a curse. 
And yeah, I have my opinions on, on social media, man. I mean, I use it, of course, here, here on YouTube. I use it for, you know, positive things to share, to educate, to entertain. But a lot of people today on social media, man, they just they just do too much. Everyone think they're a therapist and a psychologist on, on, on social media. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I want you guys to comment down below the points that you guys agreed on or disagree with me on and add different points, you know, to the list. Thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for some more videos.